Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel Data Tech. I'm your host Anand Kumar. In today's video, we are diving into two important concepts of AWS Redshift. They are vacuum and deep copy. These processes can greatly optimize your database storage and improve your query performance. So let's get started. First, let's talk about the vacuuming in Redshift. So the first thing is, what is vacuum in Redshift? Vacuum is the process that reclaims space and sorts the data to improve your query performances. So when we delete or update rows in our Redshift tables, it does not reclaim the free space automatically, or in simple words, we can say, data is not physically removed from the disk of the database. Instead, it's marked as deleted and still taking up space until the next vacuum operation is not executed. And over time, this can cause the, this can uh, cause our tables to be become fragmented and less efficient. So to gain more clarity, let's illustrate this situation by using an example. Imagine we have a table that consists two columns, ID and data, as you can see on the screen. Uh, sorry. As we can see on the screen, the first table, it consists two fields, ID and data. And now let's perform a series of actions on this table and see what will happen uh, in Reshep. So first we will delete the record with the ID 1. Next we update the record with ID 2. And finally we insert a new record into the table with ID 8. So the, uh, the table on the left is our first table. And after that, when we perform three, like three, all these operations, the outcome will look like something, this table in the middle. And as a result of these actions on the table will appear as shown in the second image. And in this state, both affected records, this one and this one will still remain in the table, but they have been marked for the deletion. So that's like something important we need to be aware like whenever we deleting anything or updating any record uh, it does not physically remove those records from there it's basically just markup for deletion and it uh, when whenever we going to query against this table it will be like checking all these five records i know these are marked for deletion so it won't come as an output but still the query performance will be degraded because we are uh, checking more records and after, so how we can get rid of this problem? Vacuum is the solution. So after we execute the vacuum process, we both reclaim the space and also sorts the data, even re-indexing too. Uh, except for the interleaved, interleaved tables, we will see that. And the, these steps like reclaiming the disk and sorting occurs uh, consecutively, like one by one. And you can see on the right side, once we do the vacuum, the table will remove all the records which are marked for deletion and we will have only exact three records here. Now let's look like what, uh, how we do, like what's the command for it? How many types of, types of vacuums are there? And look into some examples. So there are like four types of uh, vacuum commands available. Uh, vacuum full, vac vacuum delete only, vacuum sort only, and re-indexing. So what is vacuum full? It is the default configuration of the vacuum command. Whenever we run the vacuum command uh, without passing any parameters, vacuum full will run. And with full vacuum type, we both reclaim the space, short the data, and these steps, as I mentioned earlier, happen one after the other. And second is vacuum delete only. And as name suggests, this option only reclaims the space, but there is no sorting. So in delete only, reclaiming happens, but no, not, no, no sorting of the data. And the minimum threshold for this is, uh, for deletion is like 5%. So, or in other words, we can say a table whose 95% records are not marked for deletions can reclaim. But if anything beyond that, we can't, uh, we can't do it with the default threshold. We have to exclusively mark or like explicitly put the threshold there and that we can change. We will look that in a while in an example. 
and vacuum sort as a uh, like with this option we don't reclaim any space we just do the sorting of the existing data and vacuum sorts only uh, and for this also the threshold is the 95 percent and in that case vacuum sort on uh, vacuum sort the command only skips like skips any table that is at least 90 percent 95 percent sorted so for example if you have a table in that uh 95 percent records are sorted uh vacuum sort won't run on it and you like we you guys will be thinking why we need a vacuum sort and delete when we have a vacuum full uh so vac like vacuum full sometimes takes like for example if your table is very big and you can't perform vacuum full because of the resource constraint or anything or like uh not even so sometimes uh, like running the vacuum full like it's taking an hours or we don't have that option where like we can turn down our database so in those situations we use vacuum delete and sort and improve our query performance so like the business is not impacted and the last one is the vacuum reindex this command is probably the most resource intensive of all these options and it is a full vacuum together with reindex reindexing of interleaved data so this option is uh, makes sense only for those tables which have interleaved sort use key uh, now let's look into the example I'll go to my GitHub. Okay, so here is the examples of uh, vacuum, like how we do this, or like when when I say vacuum process, like how we perform it. So vacuum process is a straightforward syntax. It's a simple command like vacuum, and then we provides the parameters to it. So full is something if we don't pro like if we just type vacuum, it means it it's the full vacuum, and it will reclaim the space. Re, like re, and do the all sorting for the all the records in the table and minimum threshold will be like 95 percent but uh, if you look at this command like if you do this it will do the vacuum fall and for sorting and all those things like we need to specifically uh, say vacuum sort only then okay so this one runs on like whole cluster or you can say uh, whole redshift database but if we want to run the vacuum specifically on a tables in that case like we need to uh, specify the table name and then put like how much uh, like what's the threshold we want if we don't want to uh, go with the, the default threshold so here it says vacuum sales to 90 percent so for this like it will uh, reclaim the space and reshot for the sales tables uh, irrespect of uh, like for all situations and same things like we can like as you can see on the screen like full is there sort only delete only reindex and the table name as I said like if we don't want to run this against the whole database we can provide the table name then the threshold and threshold is like 275 percent to something like we, we can give it like it, it could be any number between 0 to 100 and by default uh, it is 95 percent okay so for example here vacuum delete only sales to 75 percent that means like we are reclaiming the space of sales table that 75 percent uh, of remaining rows are not marked for deletion or in other words like uh, for sales table if 25 percent uh, rows are marked for deletion uh, we are good to go and here there is one more thing like it's boost uh, one more parameter or like one more uh, um, function like a one thing which we can add to our command is boost boost is basically to increase the resources uh, for your vacuum process uh, but I generally don't recommend it because it's like as I say all vacuum is already a resource extensive command and boosting it it can have uh, impact on our business and on our database uh, regular processes okay and uh, let me go back to my slides so like basically what we learn from here, like regularly running vacuum processes ensures that our tables are optimized both in terms of storage and query performance. Now let's look into the deep copy. So deep copy is a process that recreate and repopulate a table by using a bulk insert which automatically shot the table. And uh, so like why we need a deep deep copy if a table has like large number of unsorted data 
and it is like large number of deletion in those cases deep copy is much faster than the vacuum so let's jump into my github again and i'll show you like what is like what are the ways to do a deep copy deep copy is basically a concept where like you recreate and repopulate a table so recreate basically create a table uh insert like create a new table insert new like all the records from the existing tables delete the old table and then alter the name or rename it so there are like three ways to do it straightforward if anybody is coming from database background or like any any person who understands sql they will understand deep copy very easily and this is something like is used in like a database loading like a tables loading final steps like where uh, whenever we doing a final load and this is like in a overwrite situations like we create a, so like this one i'm talking specifically like one of this method is like we create a separate like a new table using the ddl that's like exact copy of your parent uh, like like existing table then we use the insert command to insert data from that parent table to the newly created drop the parent table and then alter the name of this so for example let's say we, if we have a sales table we will create a like a copy of the sales tables like if if the ddl is exist because there are like as i say uh, there are other ways too this is the first way we are going to look into the other ways too so in this way we create a table which is a, uh, like using the ddl of the of the table like uh, of the existing tables and then we use so for example existing table is sales we created a ddl and uh, named sales copy and then we inserted uh, all the records from sales into sales copy drop the sales and alter sales copy to sales so it's like a simple step Cre recreate the table so this is basically recreating the table repopulating it dropping like old table and renaming it and the same things can be like this one is using the ddl command uh an original table the other one we can use create uh table like command so in this method whenever like uh, this method is useful like let's say we don't have the ddl so in those cases we can use uh, create uh, table like command and uh, in this one the first uh, the first step is different instead of using the create table like here we use create table like and and the uh, table information and rest of the things are, remains pretty same uh, and the last one is using uh, like a temporary table so this one also uh, if you're coming from a database background like it will make sense to you so here we basically create a temporary tables from our existing table then we truncate the uh, our existing table our truncate is basically dropping that and then uh, insert uh, it's truncate is not sorry it's not dropping it's basically deleting all the records from it and then inserting all the data back to the original table and drop these temporary tables so uh, in a nutshell we can say that like deep copy is something we go back deep copy is something which is basically recreating and repopulating and i said like if uh, your table which you're using redshift has uh, like a large unsorted data sets in those cases instead of using vacuum we can use deep copy that's all for today's video on vacuum and deep copy in redshift i hope you find this information useful don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel until next time have a good one